Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all tech games on the GBA. Tech and the power of Juju isn't like it looks. I mean, when I first saw it, I thought that it would be a regular platformer, including being easy to beat, but it isn't like this. Even the graphics, even if they don't seem the best at first, by the end of the game you'll fall in love with the looks of the game too. And about the gameplay, you platform and hit people with a stick for most of the time. Okay, it's not a stick, but it's funnier to say it like that. And I like that the game spices things up. In the game's 38 levels, you have puzzles and various ways to travel, you can climb, you, you have a section where you fly, or where you swim, or ride. The game is varied, but I have to warn you with something. The game is frustrating. So be careful, if you want a casual experience you will have a hard time in many sections of the game. There are birds that fly out of nowhere, there are enemy attacks that follow you, you have to precision jump many times. But aside of this aspect, which isn't really a flaw, it's more of a detail. I can't say anything bad about the game. It's nice, varied, looks good and it's a good game overall, but I'm not really into frustrating games. Tech 2 Staff of Dreams continues the tradition set by the first game, but it has something different. Because typical moves like a double jump or a ground stomp aren't unlimited here. Annoyingly, they require a significant amount of juju power. What is not nice about the game is that it doesn't explain things right. Even if you start the game with a tutorial, you have to figure out a lot of stuff by yourself, which makes many parts of the game frustrating or difficult, because you weren't using the moves right. Also, even if you take little damage from enemies in general, death is not rare, mostly because you didn't use your powers right, and when you die, you get restarted from the beginning of the level. There is no checkpoint system, and these moments where you die because you weren't using your moves right are infuriating. But on the other hand, the game stands out because you have two magic bars. One for double jumps, stomp attacks and distance attacks, and one that turns your screen like this so that you can use hidden objects in the map and to get rid of these annoying creatures that leech to you and drain your life. Also I like that the game is varied, like the first one. Here too you can fly and ride, the game is good, it has some unbalanced infuriating parts, but overall the game is good. Also this game isn't frustrating, it has some moments, but it's not a frustrating game, unlike the first one. Tag the Great Juju Challenge is a platformer, this time the game is puzzle focused and you play it as two characters, Tag and Lock. Each character has special abilities, Lock has the most. For example, he has a flying jump, a super butt stomp, and a protective umbrella that he can activate when carrying Tech on his back. And a charge attack. Tech can shoot magic. Th that's about it. But they are both useful, as Tech can get into areas Locke can't. At the end of each world, there is a boss battle and a race. And races are frustrating, because the controls are non-intuitive and horrible. Also, I want to emphasize that the puzzles are great, they are creative and just great. The graphics are great too, I like that you get a handful of different moves you can perform, overall the game is good and fairly easy to beat, but this one too has some occasional frustrating parts, especially during races, and no matter if you choose easy, medium or hard, the races will be difficult even on easy. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.